Seafoam Ultima Oil Stabilizer or Lucas Oil Stabilizer. Which is best? Before we find this out, we need to see just how well the seafoam does when it's compared against engine oil that has no seafoam stabilizer in it. Now we've taken two bottles of Amazon Basics 0W20. We'll remove 20% of the oil from one bottle. As you see, we've written the name on it, Seafoam. Because we'll replace that 20% that we're removing right now with Seafoam Stabilizer. And we'll see if there's any added benefits, such as performing a wear test to see how much protection is provided for the metal parts inside your engine. Also, a cold flow test to see how it affects the engine oil flow in cold temperatures, which we know some of the Lucas products definitely affects those. Now, we'll even perform an efficiency test because we know this could be affected by some of those other products as well. So, I really am skeptical of this product. As you can see, it is for this oil. They even say it on the bottle, 0W20 is fine to use and other oils such as 5W30, full synthetic, conventional. Now, let's go ahead and mix it in. Guys, I don't want there to be any doubts, so yes, you see a coffee pot because we're going to mix all of this in to this coffee pot then we'll place it in the coffee maker heat it up this way you know it's mixed up really well then we'll take it back out and move on to our testing now some of the claims made by seafoam why use seafoam ultimate oil stabilizer use seafoam ultimate oil stabilizer to help prevent wear, reduce oxidation, and remove harmful sludge. Specially formulated with synthetic petroleum seafoam ultimate oil stabilizer is compatible with conventional and synthetic oils, as I stated earlier. Especially helpful for older vehicles. Add seafoam ultimate oil stabilizer at every oil change to minimize wear or even in newer vehicles. It helps to preserve and protect against excessive wear. Use regularly for best results. Says on the front of the bottle, reduce wear, control sludge, control oxidation, maintain lubricity. Helps prevent sludge, deposits, and varnish. They also say it's suitable for extreme climate conditions. Now let's go ahead and add the oil to the freezer. Or should I say place it in the freezer. We'll come back, allow it to sit for a couple days. This way we know it's ready for the cold oil flow testing. Guys, I'm definitely excited to see this one. I know in the Lucas demonstration, don't forget to check that video out as well. It didn't fare as well, but it done okay. I actually expected it to do worse. And something I didn't mention earlier when I poured out the seafoam stabilizer, it was actually frozen then. And you could see it seemed to do pretty well, flow really well. Now the Lucas, not so much. When I'd frozen it and poured it for demonstration, I mean that stuff is thick, like some syrup. But they do have a bottle it's for modern engines. And we're off to the races. Oh, this is gonna be a tight one, guys. I'm not sure who will pull this off. Seafoam takes a slight edge. I mean, it's so slight, you can barely even see the difference. Unbelievable. Pulling it off by just a hair, guys. Incredible, really incredible. Definitely surprised with that one. Now let's move on to the wear test. As you guys can see, we're using an instrument or this syringe. This way, it actually locks into the amount you want. This way, you don't accidentally use too much or too little, but an exact amount. Also, this oil wear testing machine is placed on a special timer. Now, it'll be able to turn itself on and off at a specific time so that I have a perfect amount of time for each test.
make sure and let me know if you'd like to see Seafoam Oil Stabilizer versus Lucas Oil Stabilizer. But maybe you're waiting to see how this one turns out. Amazon will need a win here to bring it to a tie and whoever wins the efficiency test as well could come out to be the winner. From the start of testing the wear, Amazon was doing really well, but it seems over a course of time, as the oil is heated up to around engine operating temperatures, it's actually started to fail. I mean, you noticed it started slinging the oil off. Guys, this is definitely a bad sign. It didn't show any oil at the end. Check out the bearings. See how much they've been protected, or should I say not protected? Now, let's go ahead and show you the weight of the bearings before the test. You've seen that we calibrated the scale to make sure it is working precisely. Seafoam bearing weight before the test, 16.45 grams. Now, let's go ahead and move on to see what the Amazon bearing weighs. 16.50 grams. Now for the bearing weight after the wear test. 16.48 grams. Let's go ahead and check out the seafoam bearing. Sixteen point four four grams. Well, is it going to be quite as tight as it was in the code oil flow test? Seafoam Amazon Basics wins the code oil flow test. Now Seafoam wins efficiency test as well by 0.15 amps. Seafoam wins the wear test with a loss of 0.01 grams. Amazon a loss of 0.02 grams. Seafoam wins three of three of the competitions, guys. For more information on Seafoam Oil Stabilizer or where to find it, check out the link in the video description. And don't forget to check out the current engine oil tournament. Thanks for watching. Nate's Interactive Auto.